done. Lucky you, I wish I was. So we had a vote on Instagram. I think the final poll was 53% white and the rest 47. Let's go back to the brown. I've gone with my original choice of making it white or off-white. Um, the reason being, if I don't like it, it's easier to do the brown afterwards. But if I go to all that effort of doing the brown, there's no way I was going to do it white again. Someone said, actually, the white does make the, these medallions here um, stand out a bit better, which is true. It does. I'm going to scroll around to this one over here. And actually, the features, you can clearly see them, actually. Not we're being lazy, but actually, it really... The, now the whole thing is white, as I scroll around, it actually is, is a lot better than my thought. Um, but all those, as you said, those features above the doors now really do zap out and you can see them clearly. No, so, one, no one can actually say that was a case of being lazy because this ceiling and the coving has taken me four coats and it's taken a very long time. So it wasn't the easy option. But guess what? I finished! Apart from around the the um, ceiling rose, well, uh, I can't do until this light comes down. Um, I'm done on the whites. So what you're saying is I need to now take this light down for you? Possibly. Oh. I've just got to patch up this um, conduit here. Okay, well, if you can make an appointment and book me in, I'll try and slot you in. Isn't that what builders say? I'll see if I can fit you in later on, if I can. Multitasking, as I always seem to be doing, but... Okay, uh, I'd be quite glad to come and take this light down because um, I'm doing a horrible job in the ensuite, which is that I'm, it's not enjoyable. So, uh, okay, let's let's crack on and get this light down later on and get painting again. So here it is. The chandelier has made it to the dining room. We well, didn't say it was up, did I? It weighs so much that we actually can't lift it up, so we're going to have to put a rope mechanism to hoist it up. Will that rope take your weight? I don't know. Maybe I should dangle from it. <laughs> <I'm lying down. laughs> if it doesn't take your weight, it's not going to take the weight of that chandelier. We are definitely going to be doing a Delroy sketch again, aren't we? Uh, I reckon... That is good to go. Um, yeah. Yes. On right. your head be it, quite literally. No, no, I'm up here, so it won't be on my head. I'm going out the room. <laughs> Tia! Be on the cat's head. Right, let's think about this. Hanging a chandelier, take one. I'm not doing anything. That's fine. You will in a minute. Okay, so you need to take that. I don't know how you're going to hold it actually. Right, so you need to come back because there's one that's dropped from the outside. 
I need to come, I need to slide to the left or slide to the right. You need to actually get on the ladder and do it. Oh my God. No, not there. Uh -huh. To your right, okay. there's one that's, that's the one that's dropped. It needs hoisting up to the bowl. Ah, yes, what you mean. Yeah. Do you have enough wire? Yeah, I think so. If I can... No, I don't. No, just seeing it's missing. Missing the wire? Oh, it goes there. No, no, I've got it. Any others? I don't think so. Well, there we go then. But apart from replacing bulbs, all you have here, I can put all the clear ones in there. Well, the light is up. So far, so good. It hasn't dropped. Give it time. But it looks stunning in here. So I'm so, well, we're both so pleased with it that um, it was worth every euro. And hopefully once Carol's finished the wallpaping and that, it'll all come together in here. All right, so the first piece is going up. Not quite sure if I should be calling this because sometimes Carol doesn't like <laughs> prying eyes when she's working. Carol likes to be alone, no music. No husband. With peace and quiet, hey? Yeah. It's got to go right and it's got to be straight. And it's got to be in the centre. Has it got to be? Exactly in the centre, literally exact. Or near yes. damn it. Wow. Glad you're doing think it. I think that's on. Oh. Happy? Well, I've got to the bottom, maybe. That's a serious drop. I know it's not the whole room, but that's still a serious drop. Right, I'm coming down. Well done. Oh, that's not up yet. I'll get to the bottom of my beach. Is this going to be a, a ladylike dismount from the scaffolding, or shall I stop videoing? <laughs> Stupid idea that was, wasn't it? Someone put scaffolding in the way. I wish I could help, but I'd actually be more of a hindrance. Got my hair in it. Ooh. At least you got hair. Well, if it doesn't, that's my fault, because I think... <laughs> oh. So, I'm no. thick, because I don't do wallpaper. It does, does it, when you add the, more, uh, the paste to it, does the paper actually shrink slightly? No, it expands. Ah. It's got to come down. It's got to come down a bit, has it? Yep. Which means you've got to go up the top and drop it slightly. I haven't cut too much extra off because I know that this is quite a big pattern repeat. And you don't want to have to remove a massive section of it for that reason. I'm getting tight like here. Good for you, well done. <laughs> You're learning. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
least you haven't lost your patience. <laughs> Marbles. Just like you. It's only Zach that loses marbles. Right. Excellent. Round two. Take two. If I go straight at the top, it should just drop straight. Can you just see if that goes to the bottom? Right. Looking with this. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, that's definitely at the bottom. That should just, so it tucks just neatly inside that recess and then any discrepancies is when you take your, whatever you call that, right, that cord round, isn't it? Oh. Right, let me just. I've never seen you so gentle with something. Well, by the end of the day, your step, whatever the thing you have on your phone, you'll be able to 20,000 steps at this rate. I don't give a monkey's about that. <laughs> Is that perfect then? Yeah, I wanted to get this pattern right at the bottom, but it's looking good, yeah. A small trim at the bottom and a small trim at the top, and yeah, hey! And then explain what you then what you do is you've got to cut what one of these in half to go either side. Yep. Oh my god. Do you know what? I think I'd rather go back to my own suite. Right, you can go now. Thank you. Bye. So Carol's got the fabric here and we thought we'd well you can show what I you... just wanted to show you that this is the William fabric um, material sample that I got to go with the paper and as you can see it was so far off which is why I went for the plain one. The mm. colours and the patterns and the size are just so off. Completely different, isn't it? Completely different. Which is why I chose not to put fabric on the panels and choose plain for the curtain material. Yeah, I actually prefer the colour myself, the sort of bluey green, rather than the, that's quite a dirty green when you put it up against the wall, isn't it? So It didn't come from William Direct and um, William uh. Boris Direct. But it is a licensed copy, and that's the closest I could get. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you didn't use it then.